So as you know, uh, when we look at the numbers here, uh, 359 people killed in 2022 on OPP patrolled roadways. To put that into perspective, 70 of those uh, people uh, were killed right here in Central Region. Um, and we have to ask ourselves, you know, what can be done to prevent tragedies uh, like this from occurring? Mm -hmm. And you know what? The answer is road safety is everybody's responsibility. Uh, I often get asked, uh, why does the OPP focus on, you know, the, those four offenses, the big four that we always talk about? And, and the answer is simple, and it's because they are the main cause of the loss of life on our roadways, and it's absolutely preventable. So as you mentioned, the big four, which is distracted driving, speeding, uh, intoxication, and not wearing a seatbelt. Um, you know, the biggest factors with collisions uh, that lead to fatalities on our roads. And I, I assume that that means, especially this long weekend, that's probably going to be the big focus for, dry, for the uh, police out on the roads, right? Absolutely. So as you mentioned, we got speeding, seatbelts, distracted driving, uh, impaired driving. Um, and impaired driving, people have to remember that's also that's alcohol as well as cannabis. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard a saying recently, uh, and I quite like it. Uh, I won't take credit for it, but uh, so when you're hitting the road, make sure you pack your patience. So we've all been there. You know, it's, for example, you live out in cottage country. You know, we all want to get where we're going. Uh, sometimes there's traffic delays. Uh, you know what, whatever the delay, you name it, it's important that we just take a step back and realize you know, road safety is everybody's responsibility. Remember to give everybody space. And, you know, what if you see somebody driving aggressively? My advice is don't engage. How about if you find yourself feeling a bit of road rage? Remember, remember that patience that we talked about packing? So remember that and, and then disengage. Yeah. Uh, you know, take yourself out of the equation. Uh, stay within the speed limit and always wear your, your seatbelt. Uh, don't drive distracted. Don't drive impaired. Uh, that's alcohol as well as cannabis. Uh, as mentioned before, Rob, uh, this is the month is also uh, Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month. Uh, we recently had a, a collision here uh, in Bracebridge uh, involving a truck and a motorcycle. And I know, you know, this seems to happen every time. We've had some major tragedies here in, in Muskoka. First of all, I want to talk about, you know, what motorcyclists themselves should be keeping aware of before they hit the road yeah so i mean motorcycling it's an incredibly popular way to travel here in the summer months um, and it's important that drivers you know follow the rules of the road and drive according to the conditions uh, because i mean driving uh, driver mistakes on a motorcycle can be amplified uh, due to the lack of protection that the drivers have around them so i mean my best advice obviously follow the, re the rules of the road Make sure you have on the best protective gear that you can. Um, and I suggest being very familiar with your actual motorcycle. You know, do a pre-trip inspection uh, before you ride to make sure it's, you know, mechanically sound. You know, make sure your brake and clutch cables move freely. Make sure your brakes are in good shape. Uh, make sure you have a full tank of gas, that sort of thing. Um, and if you are new to motorcycling, I highly recommend anyone uh, to take a... Uh, a government approved motorcycle safety course and basically learn the basics of motorcycling mm -hmm. in a controlled environment. And Rob, would it be a fair statement to say that, uh, you know, other drivers, SUVs, cars, trucks are responsible as well for motorcycle safety on the road? Absolutely. Uh, and I mean, I think it's the third time I've said it today, but uh, road responsibility or road safety is everybody's responsibility. So most motorcyclists that I know personally, uh, they're very good drivers. Uh, and what they tell me, though, is uh, not only are they paying attention to their own driving, but it also, you know, pays in dividends to pay attention to the other drivers around you. Now, mm -hmm. if you're in a, you know, car, truck, SUV, whatever, um, motorcycles, they can be harder to see, uh, whether it's, you know, it's based on their size or they have, you know, one headlight versus two. There's, there's many reasons, you know, why they're harder to see. Uh, but that's why it's absolutely crucial to be aware of your surroundings as a driver. You know, check your blind spots. Make sure you're, uh, when you're turning from an intersection, um, to not only look for cars, but look specifically for motorcycles. And I say this because you're less likely to miss a car than you are a motorcycle. So by making it a point to specifically look for motorcycles, you're going to be making safer turns.